Good morning. We are chatting today with our new sponsor, new partner in Bloom Yoga, located here. Oh, there you are. All right. Now I'm going to see if I can add you in. Martha, I'll look at you. Hey, good morning. Good How morning. Oh, We're here good. at our studio. I good. thought I'd show you around if you want to see. Absolutely. Perfect. Perfect. Let's see. Look yeah. Look big, tall see, wanna, ceilings. Amazing. Big, huge ceiling. Um, we're kind of decorated for Christmas now. I don't know if you have, I'm doing it. Yeah, I got to oh, get beautiful. good technical uh, yeah, we got our points out is going. We have a I'll take you out here, show up our little And you have your silk set up. There's my daughter, Olivia. I don't know if you can see her. Oh. Hi. Hi. And then we have another studio too. A, a smaller one. Wow. Your yeah. face is huge. Let's see? Oh, thank you. That is absolutely beautiful. We actually, believe it or not, are going to be moving soon, too. Um, well, um, down the street, oh, we wow. want to be more handicap accessible. So we're going to renovate the space. It's going to be on the first floor. And it, we're excited. It probably won't be until February, but we're excited about that. But we anticipate making it just as bold and beautiful as it is now. So thought I'd yeah. share that with you guys. That's amazing. Yeah, so where, so share with everyone where you're located. Oh, I lost your audio yeah, real quick. We're Sorry, located at, can you hear me now? There yeah, you go. We're located at 1 Genesee there. Street in New Hartford, yeah. New York, and we're going to be located up the street yeah. at 34 Genesee Street. So, <laughs> Yeah, that's actually, not too it's like bad of a move. You can walk. We, okay, you know, we walk there now, so yeah, for different things. So yeah, we yeah. have um, and that's amazing. So you're moving to make it just to make it well. More yeah, yeah, and you know more what? Accessible. Right now we're above a bar, and um, well, yeah, mm. we when we <laughs> moved in here, we weren't. It was a uh, curtain store and mm. a Indian restaurant. No, not even Indian <laughs> slash Italian. It had maybe two people a week come in. Yeah. So, so now it, it wow. certainly changed the dynamic. So, uh, yeah. I so, <laughs> believe it or not, the the owner downstairs um, of Juan Jenny, he ended up buying the building that we're in. And then, you know, uh -huh. I talked to him about moving and all that, and I talk to him and you know what he ended up buying the building up the street and offering me to go there isn't that great oh wow yeah. Yeah, i'll so also show you our meditation <laughs> slash salt room that we utilize here let me show you yeah yeah you have your we own do. salt room <laughs> you can and we're gonna you know, move the salt room too here it is I think you're actually the first studio that I've chatted with that has their Yeah, you know, I, That's we love it, too. We don't use it as much as we should, Yeah, but um, we do a lot of meditation in it, um, especially since COVID was kind of kind of put a damper on it because of the, hmm. um, cause of the social distancing. But once I once we move, right. and like, see, right now you have to go through one of our studios to get to it. So we anticipate once oh, we move yeah. that we'll be able to, um, you know, uh, be able to have it separated out from the other studio. So, yeah, so that is yeah. our plan. So we're going to, you know, definitely um, advertise it more, letting people, more people go into it. Um, it's got two hella generators. Yeah. We have a fireplace in it, like an electric fireplace and uh, all that so 
Honestly, I made it probably for myself, a labor of love for myself. I, do, I was going to say, I do, do you I go do like in? It. It's great for your sinuses. Yes. Everyone this year kept complaining, oh, their oh, sinuses wow. were terrible. I'm like, this was the best year I've ever had. So, yeah. Wow. So, so share with everyone, I know that you took over ownership of the space. How long have you been? Um, have probably you been the owner a little over now? five years, since two, 2017. Okay. Um, I took over in May of 2017. I moved here in December of 2017, because immediately when I took over ownership, I said, well, oh, I didn't want a one-room studio. I wanted to be able to offer, like, aerial and all different things. So right. um, that's the deal. And so was the salt room? I did that probably a year well. into ownership, mm -hmm. uh, um, what, a year into the move here. Um, I added, at the time we yeah. moved, I added the aerial. Um, and now when we move again, yeah. I'm going to add like two hot yoga. Right now, you know, just like most studios, they, you know, always say hot yoga and they're doing space heaters and things. And we do that as well. But mm. once we move, I'm getting radiant floors yeah. installed and I'm going to do the ceiling panels. So I want to do the two yeah. hot yoga with the infrared lighting and the infrared heat. So yeah. that's like, I like to upgrade every time I, I do something like that. So. And I love hearing, you know, you've been open since before the pandemic and you survived the pandemic and you're thriving. I mean, <laughs> we are, I would say we are not easy. where we were prior to the pandemic, um, but we're getting back to where we yeah. were. Um, I would say yeah. we're about three fourths of the way to where we were. It's a slow, but steady climb. That's amazing. Yeah, we've actually seen an yeah. uptake, um, an uptick, sorry. Up yeah. since I would say August, September, our numbers have really started to climb yeah. again. Um, yeah, wow. uh, you know, like I think since September, we've increased our attendance steadily by about a hundred a month. And has it been people returning back that had maybe left for a while, or is it new people that have moved into town? It's been both. Everyone's been sort of it's, it's been both. displaced. Yeah. yeah, the one. Um, yeah. We um, are trying to capitalize on our, you know, new yogi. Do you want to try? We added a beginner's class. Uh, we added more classes this yeah. fall to make sure that we had the availability for people. So, um, yeah, you know, I think that's helped because you have to be able to have availability yeah. to your clients. You know, people's lives are crazy. And yeah. so you got to have something that fits their, their schedule if possible. It definitely feels, I was chatting with a friend of mine the other day, I, I feel like things are more crazy now than before the pandemic, like life feels mm -hmm. very unsettled still to me. Does that, I mean, do you feel the same way? It's still a um, little I bit agree, crazy. like it, there's kind of no rhyme or reason, I, I feel. Yeah. Yeah. The one thing that we yeah. also did is we got on board with um, a local special needs, um, it, it's an autism center. Um, my son has autism, so yeah. it's a near and dear subject, and that's actually how I originally got into yeah. yoga, um, is because of him. Yeah. Um, he, yeah. in the beginning, really thrived with it, really liked it. We had private lessons, and then we kind of, he, he's not, believe it or not, as much into it now. Um, he kind of went off that path, and I still, like, kind of... Yeah stuck with mm -hmm. it for special needs so we we actually um did yeah. a partnership with a place called the Kelberman Center in mm -hmm. um Utica New York it's mm -hmm. a excellence in autism and they did a inclusivity oh, wow. with different community places with an art with a um gym and also with us wow. as a yoga studio so we were grant funded for this yeah. class different classes to have inclusivity um, yes. And so we wow. started one of the classes that really stuck was what we call spirit in the spectrum. Um, and, and right now we're still running it free. Mm. Um, because we had so mm. much in the grant, the grant ended in June, people went got special trained, they paid for the mm. instructors. 
Um, and we were able to, we did some fundraising right. classes. So we were able to keep it running um, wow. for a no charge um, for the community. Right. And so, I mean, probably in January, we'll make it donation only class, which all the um, parents have right. said, we'll come if, even if you want us to pay. And, you know, we'll, I'm like, let's just, you know, wait it yeah. out. We did enough like classes where right. um, we could pay for the instructors so throughout to the end of the year. So that's what we're doing. Um, we also did yeah. aerial inclusivity with them, the kids. Um, yeah, and that wow. actually we then yeah. extended into having them the parents pay, and they the parents are like, no problem. They love it. Yeah, they call it their. Wow. I've never heard of that. That's an aerial class being off. That's amazing. Like, yeah. I've never even well, heard and of that so it's so cute. Some of the kids it's are beautiful. like, I want to do swing yoga and. So, I mean, and it's great. Yeah. And we offer, we all also offer, you know, the community, like, you know, like, you know, know that you're going to come to an mm -hmm. all-inclusive class. So on, t you know, Tuesday nights, it's free for them as well. So they come and, and know that we're going to yeah. have um, clients that may have some special needs and just to, you know, know that's yeah. a part of our community and that we will never give that up. We provide support for the people. We've had, um, we have a couple instructors floating around the room to help the, the clients if they need help with poses, if they just want to take a child's pose throughout the class, or mm. if they want to be in um, Shavasana the whole time. We provide weighted blankets for them and weighted, weighted mm. um, yeah. squishy balls. And we actually have a weighted stitch that we pass around the room. And the parents come, take it right with them, or sometimes they bring mentors, or sometimes they just take it themselves. Yeah. And they are my actually the most consistent attended class that of the people, you know, and well attended. I mean, it's the same people That's every week. And sometimes it'll yeah. stand, they'll bring their friends, and then they'll keep coming. So, right. I mean, and our instructors say that this is the most blessed class that they ever taught. Yeah, oh, I love that. Oh my God, that that's so beautiful, and I love it because you know, in your logo, you're saying yoga for everybody, and it's right, you really right. are. You're, you're mm -hmm. doing that, you know. And I, I think for a lot of people, the the financial aspect can be a hindrance, you know, when you offer free and then offer all these additional tools. That's such a beautiful thing. Yeah, well, we were lucky because it was thing. grant funded, and and then we'll, every so often we'll do like yeah. a class and say this is a donation class for our social inclusion. Um, we did Christmas last year and we kept the money and, yeah. you know, and like I said, our instructors yeah. just feel so rewarded from it. And then, you know, we have our front wow. desk staff. Um, we're lucky because my daughter's mm -hmm. an occupational therapist and she recruited some of her occupational yeah. therapists, individuals to come and actually work at my studio, like do the front desk. So if they need extra help during the class, they're able to push in and help yeah. with the clients. So yeah. it's, it, it's been a great reward. Definitely. And the funny thing is my son won't even attend. Yeah. <laughs> you know, like, everyone's like, well, I'm going to come. I'm like, you how, want to. how old is he? 20, 20. How so old the is class, your son now? Yeah, the class is 16 oh, plus. Oh, okay, yeah. Yeah, he's, the class is 16 plus. You know, so, you know, and sometimes we'll even have special activities during yeah. the class. Like, oh, we're going to do, um, like, an art thing after, or, you know, like, for the holidays or an ornament. And they right. love that, too. Yeah. Yeah. I love that. And, and I love that it started with your son. Yeah, and now nothing he's like, to do with it. <laughs> no, I don't want to go there. No, no. Yeah. Uh -uh. So, it's... But, you know, he might come back we to it. Do. You know, sometimes yeah, I we find take a break, with we myself. come back. Like, you know, you know, I'm trained as an instructor. Yeah. I don't, I'm not really um, a teacher, though. I uh, would, but, you know, I I, yeah. I find it so, like, between the business and the day-to-day -day of the studio, yeah. I don't have time to really think about teaching. Um, but every so often, yeah. I'll say, oh, okay, I'll, you know, I'll, I'll do here and there. But, um, you know, we come back to practicing, you know, waxes and wanes throughout our whole life. So... Yeah. How has your personal practice changed since you became an owner? I mean, do you practice more now? Do you practice less? And the pandemic, um, that sort of threw everyone for a loop. I, the pandemic, we were doing a lot of Instagram live um, for free for the community mm -hmm. during the pandemic because yeah. 
we thought, again, that was important to keep yoga going, to keep, you know, having the community be in touch. So we did do that. Um, yeah. As far as my practice, unfortunately, you know, with the day-to-day -day life, it, it, it's not as much as I, it should be. I'm a, yeah, I love yin, so I yeah. have a tendency to take a lot of yin. Um, mm. You know, believe it or not, I'm not an aerial yeah. person. I don't like to hang upside down. <laughs> Oh, how funny. And you well, you know what? I'm not going like, <laughs> again, it's got to be yoga for everyone. So, yes, it's inclusivity yeah. with um, special needs, uh, definitely. But I look at it like yoga is something mm. different for everybody. If some of it's just meditation, and I do a yeah. lot of meditation. I um, actually, we're um, yeah. trying to work together with, we have a licensed clinical social worker on uh, one of our yoga instructors, and we want to do. Um, a meditation class, but with biofeedback. Um, I'm, uh, yeah, because I don't know, there's this oh, tool wow. out there called the Muse. Yeah. Um, so we want to teach people mm. how to mm. really do uh, meditation, um, to really get into that. So we're working wow. towards the first quarter of the year to really to um, move forward with that class. So people could really... Yeah. And you I do. I use it all the time. Personally and you enjoy it? Yeah, I love yeah. it. Um, I, I just love it because that's wow. what really deepens me. Yeah. Um, cause you know, it's like that. I don't, mm. have you ever used the muse? It, you know I what it does? It, 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 it like is it. Yeah. a electrode or something on your head, like on your forehead and your behind your ears. Right. So what mm. happens is when you meditate, it will, if you are doing well, it'll give you a bird chirp and you count the chirps. But if you're not, then it will actually put you like into thunder and lightning. Uh -huh. So wait, how does it know that you're not? Uh, I guess by the feedback well. of your brain, <laughs> like, you know, like your, okay. your yeah. pulses and your, all that feedback. Um, gotcha. and which, yeah. Probably if it's like freaking yes, out. Yes, exactly. Like, You're not. So I don't know if you had a person. So I'm like, oh, I've got to get those bird chirps in there. I have one at home. <laughs> we have about five here at the studio. Whenever we yeah. do yoga teacher training, we do yeah. a whole, you know, section on the meditation of it. And instead of just, okay, we're going to meditate. Yeah. Let's all, you know, take a deep breath and that. Well, let's actually take it a step further right. and see how well. You should really let your mind get there. Right. So, yeah, I, you know. Wow. Technology. It is. And I love I'm technology. telling you. So I try to marry the, both of them. My, yeah. my love for technology and the yoga yeah. studio. I'm always trying to get a different, like, toy or tech thing to do it. I bought the In Harmony right. um, meditation chair that does the same type of thing. Mm -hmm. I haven't figured out how to use it yet. But I'm, I'm planning to. <laughs> So I always, yeah. And I think I read before you owned a studio, what did you do? So you worked in a hospital, I owned, is that yes. what you were well, doing before? Things. I was a hospital administrator. Mm -hmm. um, so I worked in yeah. um, risk management, which was uh, is a tough job. And I also had, wow. yeah, and I had administrative wow. responsibilities over different departments. Then I like impulsively right. one day, I'm done, I'm done. And I went to, I was going to be a, um, like a housewife, I decided, you know, like, ooh, I'm going to do things yeah. I always wanted to do yeah. before. So I wanted to do yoga. So I went and mm -hmm. um, met Tara, me and, and she actually did some private mm -hmm. lessons with me. I started to take classes. And then, of course, I brought my son involved. Um, mm -hmm. But then my husband, who um, was a physician, um, my husband passed away three years ago. So right. um, thank you. But he was like, yeah. no, I need you in my office. <laughs> so he dragged me there. And yeah. so between both, yeah. um, and then Terrace had some things that she wanted to do. And he's like, go help her. She needs help. And then here I am. Never thought yeah. it would be, but I five wow. years owned the studio. Mm -hmm. Wow. And I mean, do you look past, like, back when you worked in the hospital? Does it, that it, seem like it a does. whole other life for you? It does. Like, it seems like a yeah. whole other life, yeah. but it also seems like it was yesterday. I'm, I'm like wow. a person that yeah. likes to stay crazy busy. So between the studio, I also yeah. contemplated going back to the hospital. I was so close. But then I instead um, wow. 
found like there's a an individual I know from my hospital life that is a male practice attorney and so he asked me to work mm -hmm. with him as well so which is great because I can work from home right. he's like I know you have your son I know you have the studio you know you can work from home you can work from wherever you want just to review charts and things so I was very wow. very blessed to, to yeah. encounter that so and it, it wow and I mean, you're right. Like you mentioned earlier, you are still running a business. So having all those skills that you had from all those years and still, it's like you still need that yes. muscle working, even though if you own a studio and it's a yoga space and it's beautiful and it's healing, it's like you still need that practical side and that practical um, yeah. skill set to run it. Um, because you run it yourself. It is. I mean, it's, it's your studio, essentially, right? Um, you know, I tried going yeah. through it having managers yeah. or that and nobody cares about your business like you do or you know it's not that they you know yeah you know their priorities are different than yours and um yeah i always look everyone's like oh well martha's like focused on the business no i'm like i'm focused on the business so we can sustain it for the community um because it's become a staple right. in new harvard community um we're so fortunate like yeah. new harvard um ranked us the um, number one, you know, yoga studio in New Harper. And we were ranked also for the last two wow. years in a row by our local newspaper is the best. So, yeah, and we're lucky that way. Amazing. We're, you know, we have yeah. a good reputation. Um, yeah. And I think it's because we do do yoga for everybody, honestly. Not, and like I said, not, yeah. I'm, I'm not over the top about Ariel, but I know some people love it. So we have that. I, I know some yeah. people love yin. Some people love hot yoga. Again, I'm not a hot yoga person. Like, yeah, I'm, no. <laughs> but I know people love it. And I think that's what it's yeah. about. Like, giving something for everybody. Yeah. And that's what we Yeah. And as long as they do anything, quite honestly. Like, even right. if it's just exactly. the breathing, you know? The meditation like, part of it. You know? <laughs> It's, yeah. you know, everybody wants something different and we try to provide that for them. I love that. I love that. And I love that you're doing it in your community and like sharing this with your community and supporting your community. Because I mean, if COVID and the pandemic really shone a light on anything, it's how mm -hmm. much we need community. I think, I know personally, I, I took it a little bit for granted that my yoga community and the people I practiced with would always be there and it was always something that would exist. And when it got sort of thrown off kilter, I was, I looked around, I was like, yeah. oh, I did not expect this. <laughs> and I really appreciate it now, you know? And it's, it's thank goodness we have this Absolutely. Um, and that's one thing that my clients have always, like, I love to hear them like, before class on a Saturday morning, how they, you know, talk to each other and, oh, you know, Chris, how have you been? Or Colleen, yeah. where have you been? And, and you right. know, they talk amongst themselves about, you know, and have developed relationships yeah. out of our, outside the community walls of the yoga studio, which is awesome. You know, yeah. they, in there, they're supportive. Uh, you know, a bunch of us went and saw yeah. one of um, the Nutcracker this weekend where one of their little girls was in it, you know, and it becomes that right. support, you know. I love that. Right. And did you said, mention you were all doing a trip in, as well um, together next year? In April, in, at the end of April, we're going to go to Sedona, yeah. um, to the Sedona Yoga Festival. And yeah. everyone's... Uh -huh. You're just going yeah. and together. Yeah, you know, like, <laughs> we need to do a retreat and I'm like well we all want you know we can't have everything yeah we need we want to do a retreat absolutely everyone loves retreats but sure. we all want to go to yoga um, right. the Sedona festival so like we we've never been right. this is like one of the I think the second year that it's right. really been back and we want to go so yeah. like we're renting a house yeah um in you know outside of Sedona <laughs> and we're going and we're gonna you know just right go and rent the house as a group and who, you know, we're going to go to the yoga festival. But I love it. You have the, you have the best of both worlds. Exactly. Well, that's you know, exactly what it works. <laughs> <laughs> you know, the retreat is so hard. Like the, you get the benefits. I, of the I really give well, people so. that do retreats a lot of credit because you got to like make sure people are fed and make sure that they're getting yoga. And, and there's a lot yeah. of dynamics. We've done some retreats in the Adirondacks previously. And, and they're a lot of work. Yeah. I mean, they're worth it. 
I yeah. mean, everyone comes they back did. with a great experience, yeah. and but you know, there's there's a lot to it. I love that. I love that you figured out the secret. And you're like, we'll just yeah, go to a yeah, and, yeah, exactly. <laughs> We're gonna go to a festival. So, and you know, I think I only have yeah. like three spots that. left from it. I know because everyone's like, oh yeah, we want to go wow. to Sedona. You know, like, yeah, so anyone can join you. Right, and anyone. I actually anyone I have studio. only, um, like, so far, it's only been mm -hmm. the instructors that are jumping on board that I've advertised it to. Like I said, I'll give the instructors to the end of the year yeah. to get on board if they want to go, and then in January, right. we'll open it up to the community. And you know what? We're not, we're not even going to make money on it. It's just because we want to do the sense of community, right. and here we go, you know, like, and, and give – everyone the opportunity yeah. to experience other types of yoga than just us. Um, you know, because I think it's so yeah. important. That, you know, it. And what made you choose Sedona? Was it just the location? Well, was it, was the there festival, something that you, special so about it? I mean, it's an amazing festival. Really, like drove us there. And like the hiking's fabulous in Sedona. It's so yeah. pretty. I have a friend that um, yeah. goes back, yeah. like goes there every Every month, I want to say she she goes there. She owns some property there. Not you know, and I just keep looking and you know talking to her about it. And I'm like, oh my god, well we've got to do this. So, so I love it. I love it. We actually are doing an Instagram live. I think it's this week with one of the people that's creating the programming. So we're doing a, an Instagram Good. live with uh, Reggie this week. So we're part. We're we're helping them. We're supporting them. Like a lot of the festivals. So I don't think we're gonna make it there this year because it's so far for us. But uh, well, we can Instagram can you live from there. Amazing crew and, amazing <laughs> and from our group house. No. There you go. There you yeah, go. We'll you do know, another one. And the other yeah. thing that we did. Like, I love it. I bought the tickets in bulk. So we're getting a little bit of a discount for yeah. the, you know, by buying them in bulk, buying them in advance, so that our, right. um, to make it again, accessible for people. I mean, right. yeah. Amazing, amazing. It has been amazing. Thank you for Martha. having Thank us. Thank you so we can't much. Wait for to be more, you know, do more us. partnership things with yeah. you. We, maybe when we open our new place, we'll bring you along. That would be, how far are you from the city? How far is uh, the drive hours. to uh, New Hartford? No, it's not. We try to get in oh, the city okay, all the time. Man. Yeah, perfect. So we'll come up there when the new space is open. The new <laughs> issue will be out in June, which you will be in. So thank you for supporting us and our publication. This is the reason we are able to do this for our community. It's because of partners like you. So we appreciate that so much. And I love the work that you're doing and everything that you're sharing with your community yeah. across Thank the country, you. essentially, and at this point. Great for having us. We'll Thank be you. in touch soon. Yeah, bye. Yay. Have a great day.